far as Malaysia is concerned, uh, we will definitely would like to engage with the private sector to develop the, the water industry. So as I mentioned just now, um, water in Malaysia is a state matter and there needs to be uh, close cooperation between the, the state governments and the federal government. So moving forward in Malaysia, we have undertaken the water reform for uh, the water industry in Malaysia. And in the past, the water industry was highly fragmented uh, not contributing much to the, the GDP of the country. If we compare the water industry with the energy um, industry, it is so vast, such a big difference uh, between uh, these two sectors, for example. For the energy sector, the contribution of the energy sector just from the utility, Tanaga National Berhad, the biggest utility in Malaysia is about 36 uh, billion ringgit annual turnover compared to a meager 3 billion turnover from the water sector. So we need to now uh, uh, see how we can turn around this uh, uh, sector, this industry and make it uh, play a more efficient and effective role in contributing to the GDP of the, the country. That's where the private sector comes in. And as far as Malaysia is concerned, we had been engaging with the private sector uh, uh, you know, all these years. Um, for example, in the state of Selangor, which I mentioned just now, Selangor the, or the Klang Valley area uh, that covers Selangor, Kuala Lumpur and Putrajaya, we had involved the private sector in the treatment of water. So right from many years back, the private sector was already involved in the treatment and funding of such projects and even at the distribution level uh, we are also we had also privatized that to the the private uh, companies to to run the services and we think the you get more output uh, with private sector involvement in the traditional sense uh, water used to be run by government departments and uh, um, we noticed that it does not really deliver the efficiency that we are looking at. And uh, uh, um, of course, there's a lot of political uh, uh, um, interference or intermingling with this issue about efficiency. So uh, we need to really uh, try to segregate these two and uh, provide the economic impetus, you know, impetus to, to more efficient water management in the, in, in the country and I, I believe also in the Asia region, so in the ASEAN area region, it would be good, you know, for the private sector to work together with the governments to, to um, provide or to improve the water infrastructure in the region. Uh, of course, the governments are one party, and I thought there is this uh, um, um, NGO mm -hmm. uh, for Malaysia. We have Malaysia Water Association. Uh, that's a, a very active NGO that can also contribute towards active deliberation and discussion on, on the, this topic of um, water security. Yeah. And I believe the MWA, which consists of experts, you know, from the water industry, can come along and discuss with the um, NGOs or the international um, UN organizations on, on this central topic. And I believe they are, are, are ever willing to contribute their expertise and, and knowledge. Certainly, this um, EIDF um, summit that we are here today will provide that um, platform um, to enable us to discuss and share ideas not only amongst the government uh, policy makers but with the academia, the technology um, solution providers, the companies who are involved in the water industry to come together and share with us what's the latest technology that's available that uh, we can uh, look at to improve the water services. In, in the region and I also noticed that there are also uh, many Malaysian companies you know that have um, 
taken part, um, that's a very good um, move, uh, which would enable you know the government and the private sector to engage meaningfully to discuss on this issue about water security, which is uh, quite central today. Uh, as I mentioned just now in my speech, uh, uh, water shortage, the um, vagaries of water supply has become more uh, uh, serious um, nowadays with issues about climate change. You know, so probably uh, climate change has played a part in uh, playing havoc. To water supply, especially in Malaysia too, we are also facing this problem. 